Hey, hey, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Jenny here, the Uncrafty Crafter. I was um, contacted recently uh, by a gentleman um, and he was interested to know if I would be interested to uh, review an item for diamond painting purposes. And so whenever I saw what the item was, I was like, uh, yeah, for sure. So let's get into this real quick and see what it is. I uh, hope you guys are having an awesome day today. I love me some Amazon Prime. This did come in Amazon on Amazon Prime. Ooh. Well, let's see here. Box is a little bit smushed. Got it here, and then the top is kind of smushed down in there. I hope everything's okay. Let's see what we got here. Okay, box is empty. Uh, got some Chinese writing on this side and um, English on this side. It is a USB magnifier clip desk lamp. And so whenever he um, sent me, here's some different product features. Um, LED energy consumption is small, long life, make frequent light change your hope. <laughs> oh my goodness, they crack me up sometimes. Okay, so um, this here is what I typically do, okay? So usually whenever I diamond paint, I use my hang on, let me get it. Usually when I diamond paint, let's move this out of the way first. What I do is I use my handy dandy light pad, which it's unplugged from the USB right now because I was moving things around on my desk to make room to film this video. So anyway, I was I always use my light pad and even in the daytime, um, just because I have bad vision. So, um, and then I wear my, which I'm taking them off right now, I wear my normal seeing glasses and then I also wear reading glasses over top of my regular glasses. So I put my regular glasses on that I see through 24 seven, unless I'm asleep. And then I put these reader glasses on over top of my regular glasses to diamond paint. Now, I've tried it every which way. I've tried just the reading glasses. Um, doesn't work for me. So the best way that I can see the symbols clearly enough without straining too much with a light pad, regular glasses, and my reading glasses. So I've seen some of the different magnification things on the internet on the uh, interwebs and um, hadn't really purchased anything because what I was doing was working, I guess you could say. Um, but whenever the company messaged me about this, I was like, yeah, I'll try it. So thought that it might keep me from having to wear, you know, 52 pairs of glasses at the same time. And so let's give this a try. It comes packaged in the box. The box was open. Don't know what that was all about. Um, kind of smushed, I think, in shipping. And does this slide off or I'm gonna have to cut that. And I don't have any scissors handy. All I have is my handy dandy craft knife. So let's pull this off of here. Come on. There we go. Got that off there. Get rid of this plastic. I can't handle plastic. Little plastic pieces everywhere. Okay. Now that's shut. So I'm going to unwind this and I'm going to plug it up and turn this bad boy on. Okay. Got, woo! Yeah. Automatically, come on, let's turn that light off <laughs> for a second. Okay. So this, I like this little stretchy arm. You can stretch it any which way you like. Um, 
And then it comes with this big, ooh, that clip is hard, which I guess it would have to be kind of heavy to, you know, get to stick in, um, to be able to hold, you know, something heavy like this. So, uh, let me see which would be the best way for me to do this. So this is gonna go that way. Maybe I should clip it onto this end of my desk. Oh yeah, I think that'll work. And then I can bend it over this way. So I just have it clipped onto my desk. It's pretty firm and steady there. Never mind the very loud TV going on in the background. Um, now let's pull, can you see how magnifying that is? Um, like looking through the viewfinder myself, can you see how much magnified that little gray and white is versus on the outside edge? Um, so it's super, you know, when I pull up like that, you can see how much more magnified this is versus the outside of the lens. So I'm gonna pull a diamond painting out, one that I just started working on. I'm gonna turn the light on, which the light comes on this neat little clicker thing. That's kind of cool. Wow, let's pull this plastic back on this. That is a bright light, man. Super bright. Now, um, let me pull this down. Oh, wow. That does really show up. Makes it super bright. The thing is, is you need it to have room between it and the, um, sorry, I'm being in all kinds of fumble bumble hands. Let me grab a pen, diamond painting pen, and some drills real quick. And let's just test this out. Hopefully you'll be able to see good. Um, let's lay down a couple of these. What is that? V right there. Yeah, that is a V. Let me grab that color. Put them in my drill tray if I can find it. I got stuff everywhere right here. It's everywhere, it's everywhere. Okay, I dumped those out. Give these a good sh shake -a And I'm gonna lay this right here. So, if I am, let me move the camera here down so you can kind of see what I'm seeing. Um, can you see how magnified that is? I know that the light from the LED is kind of blinding it, but let me turn it off and see. Yeah, you can't really see good. It looks blurry with the light off, with it back on. It's bright, bright, but um, maybe that's a good angle, but yeah, you can see these letters, like you can see those are D's, there's an F and L's, um, but if you look at those compared to, um, if this wasn't, let me, let me try this, so I'll, here is in view, okay, and then here's out of view. Is that helpful at all to see magnified wise? So there's in the view, out of the view. So I just thought that was kind of neat. You can see here the, the symbols on the side, the further up I get, um, You can see there that's magnified. There it's not. There it is. Um, if I pull the camera view up, 
Maybe that'll help. Yeah, I think so. But you can definitely, I can definitely tell a big difference in here versus here on these letters, you know. So, um, maybe I don't need to lay any drills. I'm going to just in case, but um, I need to, it's kind of awkward doing this at where I can, you know, where you can see what I can see. Um, let me see. Um, it's kind of awkward doing this in the way of this thingy the blotchy. So, this is the V. Can you even see what I'm doing here? You can't see what I'm doing. Awkward. <laughs> Awkward. Um, but I do feel like this is going to be very useful for me. It's awkward doing it in this um, view because I can't really see what I'm doing. So that just moved out of the way. Put that back where it goes. So what I think I'm going to do, um, because it's, I think you can see clearly you know the the difference in the magnification um when i do this you know versus how small that is and then how big it gets um the closer i get up to the camera the worse the view is but when i get it you know down further um it is a little bit different so i'm going to try this i'm going to use this for a while i'll be diamond painting um today of course so I think what I'll do is just um, use this um, LED magnifying glass um, for, you know, a period of time through, you know, one um, session of diamond painting, which my sessions of diamond painting are anywhere from two to three hours plus, give or take. Um, so I'll give it a good try and then I will come back here on this video and let you know what I think of it. So um, it's really kind of hard to show you, um, I think because the lighting, the difference in this lens versus the camera lens, that kind of thing. But I do think that you got a good um, kind of visual whenever you look at it like that, you know how small those symbols are up and down the legend versus when I move it under there. So, I mean, that's a big difference. But anyway, okay. I will come back and let you know um, my thoughts. Stay tuned. Okay, guys. So, I'm back um, just to finish up this video. I used this um, LED magnifying light. Um, for several hours, um, off and on here and there. And, uh, I just wanted to kind of give some information, um, and finish up the post review portion. It's really great. Um, for those of you who have trouble seeing and have to use a light pad, maybe have to use like, um, reading glasses or anything like that. Like for me personally, as I mentioned earlier, Normally what I do is use a light pad and um, put um, reading glasses on over my regular glasses so that I can see. And the light on this is really bright. Compare, it's comparable to my light pad when it's on its you know brightest setting. Um, so that's really good. It doesn't get very hot. Um, it does, like I said, it does get warm to touch, but not hot. Like, I had it on for an hour and a half, two hours, and the um, light was warm to touch, but I could touch it, lay my hand on it all the way around, and it didn't burn or, you know, anything like that. So, um, that's good. And uh, I did notice it took me a little while to sort of get used to using it. Um, 
Like when I first used it, I was like, mm, I'm not so sure about this. Then I like forced myself and was like, no, I'm going to give this a fair go because, you know, it might be something that I love. I'm not, I'm not used to change. When I find something that works, I like to stick with it. So this is something different for me. And it takes a little bit of getting used to looking through this part at different angles where you're sitting, how far away the canvas is from you, that kind of thing. So what I did was uh, when I first started using it, I had it on like, like clipped to the right side of my desk so that it was like from this angle looking down, you know, and because I'm right handed, I was drilling with my right hand and this was constantly in the way. And I was like, okay, this is a little too, um, too jumbly bumbly. So I ended up moving it, um, to the left side, which I should have thought of to begin with, duh. But anyway, I moved the clip part and clipped it onto the left side of my desk and had the, the lamp part over here. So I had all this room here to, you know, set my drill and, and work or set my tray and, and work. So um, that's just a tip. Put this on the opposite side of whichever hand you're using. Um, and then also, you kind of get this when you first start using it, or at least for me, it gave me this like, um, what's the word I want to use? Like a very disoriented feeling. Like I didn't, you know, know where my hand was going. If I'm looking through this and I was trying to find, you know, where I was wanting to drill, it was kind of, I didn't know where I was at for a minute. And it would take me a second to get used to doing that. So for sure, you know, you want to make sure that you try it um, at different heights and, you know, whether it works better for you down low or up higher, turned at a certain angle versus flat down, that kind of thing. It ended up working best for me when I had it um, pretty close to the canvas um, with the light on. And then I would just drill in this area. And with a smaller canvas, I was able to, you know, like move it around to get where I needed to see the best. So it just takes a little bit of practice, a little bit of using it that kind of thing. I like the length of this is very sturdy. Um, you can see how bendable it is, that kind of thing. Um, I do recommend it for those of you who struggle with being able to see well, um, and having to wear like reading glasses as an extra, also a light pad at the same time. Um, now will I use this like all the time? Probably not. I'll probably still use my light pad and wear my reading glasses. Um, I do like this though for like smaller projects because I'm able to like when I have this clipped to my desk and this is in a certain spot where I can see really good and clear through it. Then I just move the canvas around as I'm placing where I'm working at, you know. If you have a bigger canvas that takes up a lot of space, then it may not be, you know, as easy to use this, um, unless you're comfortable with moving this around as you need to. For me, I was like, once I got it where I needed it, I didn't want to move it around too much because then I'd have to like readjust visually to be able to see through because I do have a lot of vision issues and so, um, struggling with blurry and that kind of thing is hard for me, but, um, I do recommend it. I also would really recommend this for other crafts like cross stitching or crocheting where your hand is constantly right here in front of you and not like back and forth as with working with this, you know, where you're constantly, you know, your eye has to concentrate on a drill to catch the drill and then it has to go back and concentrate on the symbol 
you know, so you're constantly looking at two different things, but when you're crocheting and knitting, you're looking right here where you're working. And so I kind of feel like this, this would be a really, really good um, accessory to have for cross stitchers, knitters, crocheters, uh, that kind of thing. So, um, but I also do recommend it for diamond painting. It just depends on the person. It was like around 24, 25 ish dollars. Um, that's about the cost of a light pad, depending on the size of light pad that you buy. So, you know, if this will keep you from having to constantly look for your reading glasses or an extra light, that kind of thing, then that would be very beneficial. Um, I really didn't have any other tips to use it. Um, but I do know that when I first gave it a try, the first five minutes, I was like, yeah, this isn't going to work. And then I made myself keep trying it, you know, because I'm the kind of person that doesn't like change. When I find something that works, I stick with it. But um, this, I wound up putting it, clamping it back down on the desk and figuring it out, getting it right where I needed it to work, that kind of thing. And um, diamond painted for probably a good hour and a half, two hours using this. And, um, yeah, it was different, a little bit different, but by the time I was done, I had like gotten into my groove and things were going, you know, things were going well. So I do recommend this, um, at least give it a try if it's something that you're interested in. Um, I also really like that it has this on and off switch here. I like that a lot. Um, and then it's got the USB plug that you just plug into a USB port and you're good to go. So, um, all right guys, I'm going to leave a link to this, uh, LED magnifying lamp in the description box below. Check it out if it's something you'd be interested in and, um, yeah, make sure to like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell, ding, 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 to get notified the next time I upload another video. You guys be safe and happy and healthy, and I'll see you soon. Bye.